Hi everybody, this uh, cappuccino tutorial is going to be about CP text field. Um, CP text, the CP text field object within cappuccino um, can be both a label or either a label or an actual an editable text field. Um, so that's something to take into account. So in this example, um, I'm actually using both types of CP text fields. Uh, there's going to be a text field and a label. And um, eventually, uh, or later on in the tutorial, we'll have it so that whenever um, the text within the la the text field changes, the label's value will change. Um, so that'll uh, also get you uh, thinking about the CP text field delegate methods, which um, are important. Uh, so in the code here, uh, first of all, as an instance variable, I have a CP text field label. Only reason why I just have the the label variable as an instance variable variable is because later when we're working with the delegate methods, um, we won't actually have to pull this same text field variable. We'll just uh, grab it from the um, notification sent with the delegate method. But you'll you'll see what I mean later. Um, so at, at the top of our application did finish launching, it's the standard whenever you create a cappuccino project, the window and content view. Um, and then right below that, um, I'm actually defining the text field uh, that we're working with. Um, here, rather than allocating and initializing a CP text field instance, I'm actually using a static method uh, available um, let's quickly take a look at documentation here and okay there's CP text field um, I'm using the text field string or text field with string value placeholder with st uh, static method from CP text field and that actually saves us a few steps here in creating an editable uh, text field because normally uh, if we were to allocate it um, like we would with most other objects uh, we it would start off as a standard label then we'd have to say um, set editable um, and a few other things but so the only reason why I'm using the static method the text field with string value placeholder width um, is because it saves us a few steps. So I'm initializing this with a blank string value a placeholder of a CP text field. You can use that however you want and then a width of 100. Then I go on to set its auto resizing mask and you can skip that if you want to. Um, and setting its center, I'm just using the uh, uh, I set it up so that it's 150 pixels left of the center of the content view and then it's at um, the content view center's y um, value and then of course we add that to the sub view or the uh, content view then down here we're uh, we're defining label um, it's just another CP text field of course and we'll, we're initializing with uh, a CG rect make zero frame um, setting a string value to hello world font um, then we size to fit. This is actually all this label decorate declaration here is standard when you create a cappuccino project, so you shouldn't really have to rewrite any code there. Um, so if we just look at that uh, in Safari or whatever browser, um, you can see we have our text field which has a placeholder um, value right there, and then also we have our label that says hello world. Um, so now, uh, if I type anything into the text field, nothing really happens there. So we want to make something happen, and, and to make something happen, we have to uh, use a dele some delegate methods, or a delegate method. So let's start off by setting the text field's delegate equal to self, or this class, and um, so from there, let's actually define uh, some delegate methods or a delegate method. In this case, we're just using one. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you the different options you have here. So uh, I'm just looking at the actual source code for CP text view. Um, 
we have so we have control text did begin editing control text did change this, this is the method that I'll be showing you in this video tutorial and I'll probably have another blog post uh, following this up with more delegate methods um, and then we have uh, control text did end editing control text did focus control text did blur so those are our delegate methods for t CP text view and all of those should have um, their parameter the one parameter that they'll get past is a CP notification and um, I'll show you how to work with those really quickly here. So uh, we'll be implementing the control text um, the control text did change method and the parameter once again is uh, CP um, notification um, and we'll just call that variable a notification. So within there, we want to, uh, in this tutorial, I, I want to just basically set the text of the label to the text that um, is in the text view. So to do that, first of all, let's, let's, um, let's, let's extract the text, view, the text field object from this notification. Um, and we do that by, um, so I'm going to define a variable my text field, and we'll, that'll just be a notification. And let's actually take, quickly uh, take a look at the the um, documentation for CP notification, um, just so you can see where we're coming from here. Uh, CP notification. There are only a few things in this case. We're going to be grabbing the object, um, which basically uh, will just give us the uh, the the text field. Um, so a notification object is what we're looking for. And now uh, we can proceed in setting the labels text by doing label, and we can do set string value, and um, from and the string value of the label will be the string value of the text field. And we'll, we'll grab that by saying um, my text field string value. So I'll save that and go into Safari refresh and you can see as I'm typing within the text field um, the text of the label is um, being changed so that's just a basic example of um, the CP text field class along with um, a delegate method and kind of an example of a CP notification parameter um, so thanks for watching uh, on my last tutorial about the CP table view class. Um, I had a follow-up blog post like a day later uh, that listed all of the different delegate and data source methods available from CP table view. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can check that out at connordenman.com. And then also, I hope to have, uh, at least within a day or so, have the CP text field um, blog post listing uh, different delegate uh, methods for CP text field and giving maybe some more examples. So thanks for watching um, and I'll see you next time.